Hi, welcome to All Brands After Hours with me, Courtney Dowlett. Welcome to the show. We're hanging out and craft together. Today, we're getting ready for back to school using the Brother Scan and Cut. Let's do this. Alrighty, so the kids are going back to school. Let's help them get ready. So I thought, let's go through a bunch of different projects that I'm actually doing for my kids to get them ready for back to school. So right here, if you've never seen a video, we did uh, creating stickers. So what I did was I actually created these stickers. I did these in Avery. Avery has um, a, their website, but there's an app and it's free. So I created this in Avery and I told it, you know, I had one of those sticker sheets. I didn't, but I just picked one of them that had a bunch of them because you can edit single uh, spaces and it'll duplicate it for you. So it's a handy little trick. It's totally free by the way. So I had it create this, which is my son's name, and then the cute little apple with the little worm and the little uh, books. I thought that was precious and it looked like little handwriting font. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put this in my machine and cut out every one of the squares so when I need a sticker to put on the inside of his book sack or any of his supplies that are just for him, then I can put the sticker on there. And again, I like to take these actually and I cut them in half and then I put them inside of his shoe because he's six. He's still learning his left and his rights, but I'll put it in there in his shoes. And then that way when he's putting them on, he knows I've got to make the complete sticker with my name so he knows which one's left and right. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna take my blue low tack mat because this is considered a paper. So it's got a paper backing. So we only want to put that on our blue low tack mat. So I'm going to put that on here, nothing special, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this into my machine and have it cut it out for me. But we're going to do a half cut, so that way I can keep my sticker sheet intact. All right, so let's go ahead and load our mat. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to scan, direct cut, because we want to scan out of the thing that we're actually cutting, that we're scanning in, sorry. So we're gonna say from our machine and make sure that it is actually on 12 by 12, only four, but I'm using a 12 by 12. So I need to adjust this to a 12 by 12, hit okay. Most of the time it's on a 12 by 12. It just happens to be last time I scanned something in, it was on my 12 by 24 mat. So let's hit start. So what she's doing, she's scanning in this material to see on screen what's on my mat. Now Courtney, there's a lot on your mat. How is she gonna know that you want each box cut out? Well, there, I created a black box around each one of these images and that way it, I can just tell it, hey, I want the outer bit, I don't want the inner bit. So it'll know just to cut that black line around it out. Oh, and she's ready. All right, so that is it. It's perfect, how beautiful is that? Let's go ahead and hit okay. All righty, so I'm going to zoom in because it caught a bit of my mat because it's such a good scan. I hit preview. Okay, looks great. Let's hit okay. And now every single box has been selected. I do see I have a few little bits on the edge that I didn't edit out, so I can edit them out real quick. Hit edit. If you notice right here, it's highlighted in red. Boop. And go to the next one. Let's delete these up. Heaven forbid the machine does cut these little bits, but just if we're being perfectionist, which we are, we're going to edit those out. And of course you can do this with your stylus. I always just have my finger right here. So we're gonna hit okay. Okay again. And then you see all the boxes. How cool is that? So let's do please select and we want to cut. Now to cut out this, I'm going to have my black rotary blade do it. And we're gonna make sure that it is on half cut, which is half cut is on, which, cause I mean, you could cut it all the way out and then you'll just have a bunch of stickers, but I actually wanna make a sticker sheet and have them available for me. Let's hit start. So what the machine is doing is it's now coming down and testing how thick this material is. Where does the next part start? Because it's a sticker sheet. So there's two parts, your paper backing and the actual sticker. There she goes. It's a habit just to like press down. This is a very old mat, but I use them till the end of their lives. All right, there she goes. Beautiful. 
And now I'll have a custom sticker sheet and I just usually keep this, you know, wherever I keep, you know, extra office supplies or extra school supplies. So if I need to put one on his, on the inside of his backpack, on his uh, pencil case, which we are doing the custom pencil case, but if I hadn't, bam, I could have had these stickers. And again, I, I use them so much, not only just for school, but if he's going over to a friend's house or like his cousin's house for a sleepover, I like to label things, especially toys. If they're going somewhere and you know they have multiple toys, you could do the mini stickers. We could have done a cute little circle one. Pop that sticker on the bottom of the toy. There's no fighting over whose is mine and what is whose. His has stickers on them. Alrighty, there we go. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Look at that. And now I still have a full sticker sheet, but let's go ahead and just pull one off. I mean, we have to, which I use the, oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot these are the clear ones. <gasps> Look at that, how cool. And now I have a little custom made sticker. And like I said, sometimes I'll cut them in half and then put them inside of his shoes so he knows he knows he has to complete the word to put on his shoes correctly. How cool is that? And you could have done smaller. I just did big stickers. Um, I have little mini ones already that I put, um, if he takes a lunch to school or something like that, I can do it on the little pieces. So it's, it's a little helpful to everyone. Like, hey, this belongs to John. He likes to leave things places. So <laughs> how cool is that? And there's a lot of sticker sheets like this one that I have here that are machine washable. So if you want to put them inside of their jackets at winter, how many times do your child leave their jacket at school and then you never see it again? Now there's a sticker and you could put additional information like the teacher's name or something, but this is just what I usually do. I mean, how many John Dowlitz are there other than my father-in-law and my husband? and my son. But other than that, how many John Dowlitz are out there? How cool is that? So really you could just, boom, how neat. So now he is ready with his stickers. Let's jump into the next one. Speaking of pencil case, yes, we could have used one of those stickers and made a big one and just stuck it right here. But what I wanna do is I actually wanna do pressure sensitive vinyl and do a little image and have a big J and then put John Dowd it or John or something through it, or we could put like an apple on it and put something cute. So let's use our machine. There's so much built into our machine already. So let's see what we have. So let's hit okay. Let's go home. And you could save those boxes on there um, if you wanted to and cut out tons of them. So, all right, so we go to pattern, come to this icon right here. There's an apple. How cute would that be? Okay, we're definitely doing the apple. I feel like the apple would be cute. Maybe not on our pencil case. I would just like his name on it, but how precious is that? So let's go home and go to pattern. Come here to our fonts. And there are so many fonts built in, depending on what model you have, depends on what fonts you have in your machine. I think that, well, maybe we could write his name with that font, but as the big letter, let's see maybe this one and then we'll do a j for john hit okay set how cute and then let's hit add pattern here to our font let's go down to that font that we liked a minute ago this one and type in john okay so now the idea is we'd put this in the back and this on top we'll coordinate that covers it up so let's take the J, we're gonna edit, object edit, resize, and come bigger. Now, the top of my pencil case is about, mm, I wanna say it's a four by seven, but let's go a little bit less than that. So right now it's a height of 3.42 and a width of 2.3. I don't think we'll have a problem with the width, but the height would be an issue. So let's make this Let's go for three and a half. Okay, so if John was to sit on that like this, how cute, but the width is only a 3.7. I've got almost seven inches I could work with. Well, this is when, usually when you're sizing, it wants to go up and down like breathing, so all together. But if we were to select this icon right here, it's gonna lock one. So now we can make the width way bigger. Let's go all the way, there we go. We can make the width way bigger without touching that height. So there we go. Cute. 
I'm not loving this font, this one, so I'm actually going to delete that and then come hit OK, add pattern, and I'm going to grab a different one because I wasn't really loving that one. Maybe this one. What's the J look like for this one? Not that either. Hmm. Ah, I really like this one. That would be cute. So edit, object edit, resize, bring it on up to a three and a half. Oh, I went a little over. Perfect. Okay. So we don't have to get the placement done right now. I just wanted to see what it would look like and I love it. So now let's go ahead and separate them and we can put our two different colors on here and cut them out at the same time. Saves us time. Hit okay, okay, okay again. Oh wait, we could scan in our design. All right, so I would use the same blue low tack mat. Here's my pencil case with a little blue. Alrighty, so I have two pieces of scrap vinyl, which is, this is a great project to do your scrap vinyl. So I'm gonna put my blue right here, yeah, and my red down here, because I know those were the general areas that my um, design was in. I do like this. Okay, and we're gonna take our favorite tool, it is my favorite tool, my brayer. I'm just gonna brayer that on down. You see how it instantly just sticks down to the mat way better? So let's go ahead, load this into my machine because what I want to do is I want to scan this mat to see exactly where my vinyl is. It's a great way to use up your vinyl pieces is scanning it in. And then that way you know that you're dropping your items directly where they need to go. So I think the plan is to put the J and then his little name. How cute. And I've checked. There's no other John in his class. <laughs> That's why I'm not putting his full name. I'm just putting his first name. Alrighty, so it's kind of hard to see, but if you select it, it puts a little box around it. So there we go. All right, everything is good. Let's hit OK. Please select and cut. Now, I, your black rotary blade, if you do not have the vinyl kit, that is the blade that you would use. If you do have the vinyl kit, then go ahead and pull out your vinyl blade instead of your black rotary blade to be able to cut it. I have my uh, vinyl kit, so I'm gonna use that. The vinyl kit, if you're, using, if you're doing a lot of vinyl, I recommend it. Um, it comes in very handy, but if you're not doing a lot of vinyl, the uh, black auto blade will do you just fine. All right, let's hit start. Half cut is already on, because remember vinyl is two parts. There she goes. It's such a habit to like try to like press it down, but we used our brayer, so we're good. There she goes. Oh, Courtney, don't play in it. <laughs> so while she's cutting, I want to thank you guys. Y'all completely sold out of Bio University. We're so excited to see you. So I, I can't wait. I saw a lot of people say that they watched the After Hours show and that's how you heard about it and you're coming. So I'm so excited. It's just going to be two days of us hanging out, learning about the Scan and Cut, and you'll be able to learn actually not even just the Scan and Cut. There's so many educators there that are going to be teaching wonderful classes. So it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness, perfect. That's perfect every time. Perfect. And how quickly am I doing these projects? Wild. Now, I completely forgot to put a weeding box around it. Courtney, why do you forget that? Because a lot of people don't have that. So I usually just forget to do it. So I am actually going to use my scissors, cut this down because I can still use this. I actually could use a lot of this. I'm just gonna. All right, so let's weed it, which is very easy. All you have to do, there's paper backing and then your vinyl side. You're going to if you have your picking tool, now would be the time to pull it out. Did I leave mine at home? Yes. <laughs> do I miss it? Yes. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let me do the up close camera so you guys can see a little bit better. All right. So we're weeding out the parts we do not want. How good of a cut. Oh my gosh, it's such a good cut. It's kind of oddly satisfying in a way. <laughs> There we go. Awesome. Oh, got the O. There we go. How good is that? So now we've got his name. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll bring the J in. Same concept. It's just like a sticker. 
Got a lot of stickers going on today. I'm just gonna pull the parts that we don't want away. All right, there's our J, so cute. So now we've got both of our items. All righty, so what I should be using is transfer tape. Unfortunately, the video of me showing you how to use transfer tape has gone missing, but I do show you how to do it on the next project. So let's do, jump into that. All right, so our next project I'm pretty excited about. I want to make a flag for the first day of school. You know, you always do those first day of school pictures and it's just cute in their little uniforms. If they're wearing a uniform with a little backpack, I want a little flag that they can hold. Is it extra? Yes. Is it going to be adorable? Absolutely. So let's jump into Canvas to create our flag. Alrighty. So we've got our Canvas account right here. And when you first sign into Canvas, it comes up here. There's actually back to school projects in Canvas. So if you've ever, um, if you haven't looked at Brother Canvas, Brother Canvas is the free software that actually comes with your machine. It's totally free and it's got so many projects. So I selected back to school and look how many are in here. How cool is this? So it gives you all the pieces for this really cute picture frame. I love this. That's adorable. So let's see, you can go back there. Here's another one. Back to school card for the first day. So that would be cute if you wanted to tell the teacher anything or if you wanted to send money, you know, like a fees or anything. How cute would it to be make this little envelope? It literally makes an envelope. That is adorable. I love that. This is the kind of extra I strive to be. So there's so many on there. Um, they never delete them out. If you want Mother's Day, you type in mother and all the Mother's Day ones are going to pop up. Look how cute these are. Like I said, they're completely free. They never go away and uh, they're awesome. So I love that brother includes those. All right, so we're in Brother Canvas. What I want to do is actually create my flag. So I'm gonna come here and get a triangle. Could we do this on the machine? Yes, of course you can. But is it just super easy and fun to do it on Canvas real fast? Yes. So I'm gonna select the shape in and I'm actually going to rotate it because this is the way that a flag would be. I did not rotate that straight. <laughs> we rotated some more, there we go. Alrighty, so we've got our flag and I'm actually going to resize by these little nodes because I know I want my flag to probably be around um, around five, which it actually is, so perfect. So we have it right there. And now that we have it the correct shape, we can come and add text. So I'm gonna drop in my text right there by just hitting this T for text and then clicking on it. And I'm gonna go put first day of, okay? So we've got that and I'm not loving this font. So I'm gonna come here and I want more of a script font. Oh yes, exactly what I was thinking. And let's zoom in a little so we can see a little better. There we go. So first day, whoa, zoomed in too quick, zoomed in too quick. Let's zoom back out. We wanna see Courtney, but not like that. Alrighty, so we've got first day of, there we go. So we got first day of, and I'm gonna shrink that down, but I think I might rotate it. Mm, let's see, we'll play with that. Oh, I think that might be too wordy. Maybe we should just put hello first grade. Like that would be cute. Yeah, let's do that. I like that better. So let's do hello. Uh, you know what, I'm still not loving this font. That's the beautiful thing about Canvas. We can just keep changing the fonts. I think I want something actually like cursive. Ooh, what about this font? Not my favorite. Well, I think what I'm not liking is the spacing. Let's bring it in like that with the spacing. So what I wanna do is I want to keep the spacing. So now you see how they're touching? I'm actually gonna go up to seven, okay. So now it makes it actual cursive. So if I come here, sorry, to edit, I can come down here to shape. So process overlay and take out that overlay. So now it looks like actual cursive. And I could have been a little closer on that one. So I might undo it. There we go. Come back here to properties, select it. Go a little out of the spacing again. Yeah, I think that's what we wanted. Oops, there we go, edit. Come down here, shapes, boom. So now we have hello, how precious. Oh my God, it's so cute. 
So now we have hello. Uh, back to the text. Put another text box first. First. And I'm wondering if we should do the one with the ST. Would that be cuter? Yeah, that would be cuter. <laughs> first. Uh, not loving it in that font. Hmm. Okay, properties. Let's change the font. You don't have to keep the same exact font for every. Oh, that that that's what I was thinking. Yes, 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 yes. So I want that big though. First. Oh well, well, you know what? I want the st to be small. So maybe we'll just do the one, and then bring in another text box, and do the st. Yep, that's the move. So first, and then we can put grade maybe right here or something. So grab another text box, drop it in, grade. That is not the same font. So that, that I feel like needs to be the same font. Let's go to Liverpool. There we go. Come down to the spacing where it looks like they're properly going in. There we go. Come over here to edit and properties shapes. Wheeled it on together. Oh, see, it could have been better. Let's go back. <laughs> and yes, I could play with the nodes and do this. Um, but, I don't know, it just feels like the easy way to do it. There we go. Perfect. Now, guys, I have done two videos on Canvas Workspace kind of going over it. So if you haven't seen those videos, I highly recommend them. Because those were fun videos to do. All right, so now we have hello first and then grade could be like that. Is that look cute? Is that weird? <laughs> I like it. Okay, cute. I love this. So that's an option we could do. Let's make a second one. I'm gonna hit this and hit copy and then paste because I wanna come down here and make a second option. Just, I mean, while I'm here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's drop in another word. And maybe this one we'll just put first and then we'll put grade. That way we have maybe two different options on the back of the flags. Okay, so, hmm, don't love the font. Let's do a different font, why not? Hmm, nah. I am so particular, I swear. Ooh, French script. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh, that is precious. Oh look, it already wants to do the perfect script. Oh, I love it. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it's wonderful. So I'm gonna have properties overlay to make it an actual font or an actual <laughs> script. And we're going to put first and then grade. So this one will be super simple. Here we go, make it bigger. And yes, you could resize it. So yes, you can resize it with these. It's just so easier with just doing it this way. So that's why I do it, okay? So let's see if we can rotate it. Maybe again. Uh, I don't know if I'm loving that. Should we shrink it down a little? All right, so I finally, after much editing, these are my two. I like these, I think it's cute. All righty, so let's go ahead. We're gonna zoom back out. There you go, so these are them on the mats. So I think what I wanna do is, hmm. I think we're gonna select all of these so we can move them. Maybe we'll move this one over here and select all those together. Just drag and select over here. So maybe we can cut them out at the same time. Now, Courtney, you've got them on here with the words and everything. It's gonna cut out that. Is that what you want? I mean, it's fine if it did it this way. I would be okay with it. But I think what I'm gonna do is instead of cutting the words out of paper, I might just cut them out of vinyl and then they'll just stick on there and I don't have to glue anything. I think that's probably gonna be my best bet. So what I'm gonna do, and I've done this in different videos if you haven't seen it before, um, is I'm actually, if you see these little eyes over here in our layers, I'm gonna hide the layers of the actual flags. So you see those gone. So I hid those layers. And now what I can do is hit file, export, transfer, S export to FCM. So my USB is in there, so I'm connect. So I'm saving this to my USB. So I'm just gonna name it flag and hit save. So now it saved the words over there to my USB. Now I can go to the layers and take away the words like this and then bring in just the shape. 
the shape's already in the machine. Am I just being a little extra by doing it this way? Absolutely. <laughs> so we're gonna hit export FCM. It's telling me, hey, there's things that are missing that I can't see, is that okay? Yes, that's what I want. Export FCM. Now, if you wanted to send it wirelessly, you can this way, um, but I wanna do it through USB. So I'm gonna hit flag or I'm gonna save it as flag two and you can name it whatever you want. It will show up on your machine with whatever name you did. So now that I have that saved to my USB, I can go ahead and put it into my machine and get my files from there. Alrighty, so my USB is in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually cut out my flags first. So I have this piece of paper that I have in here. I'm going to load it in, turn my machine back on. Yeah, if y'all don't know, I am sweating. <laughs> the, the air is off in here. Someone's coming to fix it tomorrow. So I am quickly, quickly doing this video. Whew, it is hot. Alrighty, so I'm gonna actually take my vinyl one out before I forget and pop in my black blade, which is what I would use to cut paper. Alrighty, so let's retrieve data from our USB. Okay, scroll down. I have a quite a lot saved on this USB. There's our flags. Alrighty. And I'm actually gonna scan in this piece of paper that is on my mat because I want to use as little of it as I can. So I can actually flip the flags however I want um, and position them where they will cut out of one piece of paper, which is very, very handy. Okay, and I did end up making my flag bigger because once I held it up to my ruler, it just, I didn't like it. So <laughs> you can always change it. That's the beauty thing of the scan and cut. You can always edit things. It's custom, make it whatever you want. Alrighty, so there we go. Oh, I almost had it perfect. That would have been really funny. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna scoot this over just a little bit just to make sure it gets on there. Hit okay. Please select cut. And go half cut is off and start. Now while that's doing that, I, oof, it is hot in here, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna sit here and fan myself. <laughs> All right, now while that happens, I want to say hello to our membership spotlight, which is Barbara Jones. Barbara Jones has been a member for quite a while, or well, a member from when we started, but she's actually been a customer for quite a while, and she has been one of the best customers. She's so kind. Every time she sees us, she's like a breath of fresh air. We love her, so Barbara Jones is our membership spotlight. Oh, goodness, there we go. All right, and if you guys... I've said it in the last few videos. Our membership is behind the scenes. It is a extra subscription that you can do to get extra content from us. So very cool. All right, so we got the flag. How cute is that gonna be? That is going to be precious. Well, I think I would put it back. That way you could see the roller lines. I wish I had a solid roller. That would have been way cuter, but this is the only one I saw at the store. How cute. Okay, so we have that. Now let's grab our words, okay? Okay. And I'm actually going to go back because I want to keep this because I'm a resize, so I'm going to probably have to resize my words. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to delete one of them because I only need one of them to be able to look at it. So I'm going to hit add, retrieve data from our USB. Scroll down. Probably scroll to the bottom almost, huh? Okay, there it is right there. Hit OK. And see, it's pretty small in there still. So what I want to do, I'm actually going to move this. Because right now, these are all in individual pieces. And I don't want that. I'm going to hit edit. Then I'm going to hit these bars right here. These are your grouping tool or your selecting tool. I want to select just these. So I'm going to come right here. And it's going to make this box that I can zoom in to only select those. Hit OK. Those are only selected. Don't touch anything else. Hit OK. Object edit. And now we're going to wield them together. And now they're one piece that can be moved and resized all together, but they're, they're all together. So I can put the flag back, put it in there, come to my resize tool, and now I can resize that. Perfect. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. All right, so we did that for this one. Now we need to do the same exact thing for that one. So I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna select this. Go to my selection tool, hit the resize, size down. I want all of these, hit okay. Okay again, object edit, weld it together. Now drop it into our flag, resize, and we can resize it in the flag now. Perfect. All right, so now we don't need the flag anymore, so I can hit okay and throw 
the flag away. And now we have our words. So I can put them right by each other so I can use less vinyl. But what I do want to do is actually put that a little bit right there. Because if you have it right up on the side, it's not going to want to do a um, weeding box. And I do want to do weeding boxes. So please select cut. Come to the wrench icon. Scroll down one. Weeding box on. If you have a model that can do it, that's where your weeding box would be. Hit OK. There you go. So now there's two weeding boxes right around each of the words. Alrighty, so I have my vinyl right here and I'm going to put it on here. And I know it's big enough to fit both of those designs, so I'm not worried about it. Grab my brayer tool. There we go. Load her on into my machine. Alrighty, now we want to come to the wrench icon. Scroll down one and half cut on because the vinyl is two parts and we only want to cut out half of it. Alrighty, and we are good to go. Now currently I have my black auto blade, which can do it, but again, I have a vinyl blade kit, so I'm going to use my vinyl blade. It does it a little bit better, but if you don't have it, your black auto blade will do you just fine. Let's hit start. Now I don't think I'll have time in this video, but I did want to use heat transfer vinyl to put on my son's lunchbox, but I don't think we'll have time in this video. I'm so sorry. If you guys really like this format of videos where it's just a bunch of projects, let me know and I'll be happy to do them for you. But heat transfer vinyl, same concept. The only thing is you would flip the heat transfer vinyl and cut uh, and flip the design in the machine and cut it out that way. So that way you could put it on whatever you want. And we've done a few videos on heat transfer vinyl. We made a koozie um, to do heat transfer vinyl. That's that's what I would do for um, if you didn't want to embroider on a book bag or on a launch box, something fabricy. You could do heat transfer vinyl to be able to put their names on those things. And I always recommend labeling your child's things that go to school. Always label them or just put their initial on. I know a lot of people don't feel comfortable putting their child's full name on something in case someone they don't know tries to holler out their name or something like that. That's really scary. So if you just want to put an initial, totally get it. But these are just the things that I do um, to identify what's my child's stuff. <laughs> While that's cutting out, I do of course want to remind you that you can get this scan and cut as well as a bunch of other items on our website at allbrands.com. If you get the scan and cut SDX325, don't forget to add the rotary blade kit to your cart. So add them both and then put in our code after hours, which is special just for our show. Put in after hours and it will make that rotary blade kit completely free, which is so cool. So if you are buying a uh, Scan and Cut from our website, the Scan and Cut SCX 325, which is the one that I'm actually using on the show, don't forget to put that coupon code in there so you can get a free rotary blade kit. We love free, free is awesome. So, oh, look at her go, okay. Oh, the weeding boxes. I was like, what is she cutting? All right, there we go. So I'm gonna take this off, there we go. All right, we're done with our mat. Okay, so I'm gonna take this like this, and now I'm going to weed out the items that we do not want. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. There we go. This is so cool. Now, if you want to weed out in sections, um, and it makes it a little bit easier so you're not holding a bunch of vinyl in your hand and scared that it's gonna touch something that you don't want it to touch and then mess up the rest of your design, I recommend doing that. There we go. And we kind of went over this in depth on our video where we did showing you the roll feeder with six feet of continuous vinyl because that was quite a lot of vinyl that we were taking off at once. So if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend that. I had a bunch of really good tips for vinyl. And there we go, throw that away. All right, I'm gonna take my transfer tape from earlier. My I said transfer tape is reusable. And put that on there. Let's get our little tool. I don't know where I put my big scraper. I've really gotta find that. Cause that thing is so much better. It just does a big area really quickly and it does it nicely, so. Okay. Okay. All right, so there we go. We've got our letters right here. And I'm just gonna take them on our flag and just lay them on. Since it is vinyl, it's just gonna stick on there perfectly. So, And then that's the nice thing about um, transfer, is that it's clear, so that way when I do put it on, I can see exactly where my alignment is. Okay. How cute! 
oh my goodness and then once we put it on there how cute okay next one next leg oh my goodness it looks so good okay that that transfer sheet has seen better things oh my goodness it looks so good oh my goodness i'm excited okay i put it on there a little crooked i'm gonna be honest that was me <laughs> It looks so good. Oh, this one came out good too. Oh my goodness. I love them. I think they're both adorable. Oh my goodness. They're both adorable. If I was smart, I would have done it the opposite way. Like that way they could have been two sided, but oh well, I didn't think about that. And I have two of them anyway. So, oh my God, so cute. Okay. I think first, I don't know. Which one do y'all like better? First grade or hello first grade? I don't know. Okay, I think first grade is going to go on this one and then hello first grade. Now, usually I would just hot glue this. I don't know where my hot glue gun is. It's probably at home. So I am just going to uh, take them for now. So I'm going to connect them to the ruler. And for right now, I, I'm going to hot glue them when I get home. But for right now, I'm just going to take them. Just to show you guys. But when I get home, I'll properly put them on there. <gasps> How cute, okay. Okay, I gotta do the other one. That's precious. How stinking precious. Okay, now we're going up step further and we're taking all this trim that we got from Baton Rouge All Brands and I thought we could stick it like maybe right here. I think I saw a lot of inspo pictures that had it like down here, but like that doesn't look as fun. So I'm gonna put it up here. And again, I'm gonna hot glue all this whenever I get home. I don't have my hot glue with me right now. So, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. How cute is this? I love it. I love it. I love, I think this adds something to it. I think when I hot glue it, I'll hot glue it from the top. That way it lays better. And then I'll add some to this one too. I love these. I think they came out adorable. All right, guys, we did quite a few projects today. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I think this one might be my favorite. It's different. It's fun. I think it's adorable. I think he's going to be really cute when he's holding it for his first day of school photos. Also, the stickers. The stickers are always coming handy. I mean, that's something practical in my opinion. So let me know down below which one you prefer. And for everyone from behind the scenes, I hope you enjoyed the video with our owner, John Dowlett. That was a lot of fun. Let me know if you guys want him to come back. He was, he had fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you are a behind the scenes member, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Next video will actually be alive because you guys, this is the number we're at at the time of making this video. And I'm a thousand percent sure we will be to 13,000 by next week. So next Saturday, look out seven, six o'clock. We will have a live video with me. We will have a live after hours while I'll be answering your questions. So make sure you don't miss out. And that will be next Saturday. So if you're watching this when this video comes out the following Saturday. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it's the easiest way to let us know that you want more of these videos so we can do live videos. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Thank you.